Hi, my name's Maddox and I love playing football. I play for Preston North End. I love football because it's just a fun thing to be active in. My name's Maddox and my active is football. My name is Sophie and my active is basketball. I love shooting. I love to beat teachers. Teachers are rubbish. My name is Sophie and my active is basketball. Hi, my name's Izzy. My active is karate. I like karate because it keeps me fit, active and healthy. My name's Izzy and my active is karate. Hey you six, my name's Miss Grady, I'm one of the history teachers at St Joseph's and I'm here to give you a really big, really warm welcome from everybody in Humanities. So Humanities at St Joseph's is split between Geography and History. The Geography team is Mr Tate and Mr Armstrong and the History team is made up of myself, Miss Banks, Miss Dugan and Miss Jones. So in September you'll start learning them both as two separate subjects, but to tell you a little bit more about them for now. History is all about learning about the past and we start off learning about early human life and the Neolithic period also known as the Stone Age. We then start to learn more about the Romans and go through British history chronologically. In history you also get a really good chance to develop your skills so it might seem like a lot of reading and writing at first but it is also about reading different historical sources, looking at different historical pictures and seeing what they can tell us about the past. In geography you'll also have a lot to get your teeth stuck into. You'll start out in September by looking at the two different types of geography, human and physical. You'll also get a chance to look at the geography of the UK and to develop your place knowledge within that as well. So there's lots of stuff to be think for you to be thinking about before you start with us in September. If you fancy getting rid of a head start though, we've thought up a few tasks that you might want to try. If you're more interested in history, you might want to try having a bit of a research around the Neolithic period. Have a look for some really interesting facts about early humans, see what you can come up with. For geography, you might choose have a go at learning all of the different continents and oceans, seeing how many of those you can remember. You might also choose to have a go at learning all of the capital cities of major countries in Europe. That's pretty tricky. So with all that in mind, we're really looking forward to seeing you in September and we hope you have a great summer. Hello Year 6 and welcome to IT at St Joseph's. I'm Mrs Hazelhurst, I'm Head of IT. So I teach Key Stage 3 IT, so you could have me in Year 7. Uh, I also teach Creative Eye Media and Business at Key Stage 4. Uh, Mr Patel teaches Key Stage 3 IT, so you could have him in Year 7. And he also teaches uh, Creative Eye Media at Key Stage 4. And we also have Mr Hyam who teaches uh, Key Stage 3 IT also. So you will have one of us three for your IT lessons in year seven. We are supported by Mr Blake and Mr Butler who are our IT technicians and network manager. So it's a really exciting time to join us at St Joseph's because we've got the new build and IT is in and part of that new build. So I'm in one of the new classrooms now, it's not completely set up but I just wanted to share this with you to show you ahead of, ahead of you arriving. So you can see this is our new build, we've got our interactive uh, TVs on the wall, okay, and these are the rooms. So obviously we'll have all of the PCs um, set up and ready for you when you arrive with us in September. 
So you will be studying lots of different um, types of software and different topics. So we'll build on some of the software that you already know. We use Microsoft 365 at St Joseph's, so we are cloud-based with the Office documents. So you'll have your own school email address and you'll be able to log on to that. Um, in IT, we use Class Notebook to, to store and share our work and that's where I'll be able to, to give you feedback and marking on your work also. So we'll, we use the general Office documents that I'm sure that you're already used to using, the Office Suite. Um, as well as that, we use Scratch, which I know some of you might have looked at in primary school and a lot of you really enjoy. And that's like the fundamentals and the starting point for coding. Uh, we use something called Google SketchUp. Um, we take on the role of architects for one of our units of work. We build websites, uh, different programming languages, so Small Basic plus Python. For those of you who are more interested in the arty side of it, we do look at things like Photoshop and that sort of thing. And then we do look at things like um, sound editing, video editing, and that exciting element of it, of it also. So there are three elements really to IT lessons. So there's the computer science elements that we look at, there's the digital literacy and ensuring that you've got all of the necessary skills that, that you would need and we're also trying to build in the um, creative elements as well. Hi Year 6, my name is Miss Baum and I'm one of the science teachers here at St Joseph's. The entire science department is really looking forward to meeting you when you start in September. Here are some of the topics we'll be learning about over the course of the year whilst continuously working on developing our practical skills. I hope you enjoy practical work as much as I do, especially the experiments which cause whiz, bangs, bubbles and pretty colours. Right, it's time for a challenge. I'd like you to write a 24 word summary to answer the question, why is science important? A bit like my example below. Science helps our brains to grow and helps us defeat our curiosity. Without science, we would not have all the luxuries we have today. I'm sure you could do a better job. See you soon. Hi Year 6, welcome to St Joseph's. I'm Miss Collier, the drama teacher, and drama is a practical and creative subject. In Year 7, we're going to be looking at things such as pantomime, physical theatre, and using fairy tales in performance. We'll also be working on developing your confidence and also skills within the subject. In addition to lesson time, there is also some opportunities for you to join some extracurricular clubs, such as drama club and then also getting involved in some school shows. There is a range of things that you can get involved with in the performing arts. I'm just going to set you a challenge for over summer if you'd like to get involved straight away. Is I would like you to write a short story in the style of your favourite fairy tale and we can look to use these in lessons in September. Really looking forward to meeting you all soon. Take care. Bye now.